guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 108, I believe, of the Decades Challenge. So in the last part, Susan aged up into a child. I've given her a makeover right now. She's in her summer outfit. I thought she could um, spend some time with Frankie just because it'll help with her like social a little bit. And it'll help Frankie too. So we're going to give her a treat, hang out with her. Um, and then Charlotte. Uh, I've been thinking about Charlotte lately. I think a part-time job wouldn't be the worst thing. So I am going to look into that. Um, just see what they have for part-time jobs. Because um, I feel like now that her, both of her kids are old enough to be in school, she doesn't really have to be as home. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> at home as much. I did consider them maybe having a third child. But the house is just way too small. Um, so... She could be a retail employee, a manual laborer, lifeguard. You know what? I just had an idea. Uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that somebody had a really good idea to buy back the Newcrest Emporium. And you know what? I really would like to do that. And she could turn it into a bakery because she likes to bake. That's a great idea. That, that, that's a great idea. <laughs> Good job, me, for coming up with such a good idea. I think I'm going to do that, actually. That Because I was saying I don't know what to do with the New Crest Emporium, but I think that that would be the way to go. So I may have to play around with that just a little bit, but first of all, what should we do here? I don't know. I know that the baking career, or not career, but baking as a job is very difficult. Um, well, not just from real life. I am a baker in real life, but... In The Sims, it's even harder, actually, because you have to pretty much bake all day and, like, you get very little profit. So it's going to be a little bit tough, but I think we could do it. Um, let's, I don't know, maybe we could head over there and see about, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with this idea. I'm going to run with it. We're going to, we'll bring Susan with us, and we're going to go to the New Crest Emporium. We live pretty far away from it, like Strangerville and new crest aren't that close but that's all right um i just want to check it out and see if maybe that would be a good idea no i don't I, I did mention that i don't feel that it's necessary to actually buy back the new crest emporium um because we never sold it we never gave it away um it's the owner just died and so i think really i think that sh that it should be inherited by a child or something like that um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go visit that place. So I may have to cheat their money just to inherit it, but I think it'd be kind of cool if she inherited this from, uh, I guess the last Sim in her family to actually own this um, property was her great great grandma Amilka. I think it's her great great grandma. It might be great 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 grandma. <laughs> no, I think it's just two greats. Man, I can't remember. It's been. It's been interesting trying to keep track of all the families now that we're like six generations in. But I think that, yeah, she could inherit that from her grandma. Um, and now I'm not sure why it would just pop up now, but I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. She could just find out that this place is um, part of like her, her family's um, possessions I guess so this is how it used to be this is the new Crest Emporium it needs a ton of work because I don't think we've played in this on this lot since the 1900s but we could totally redo this into like a little cupcake shop I think it'd be really cute um so yeah as you can see it's a little outdated it's like a little bit um well first of all like there's naked mannequins everywhere but I think we should totally buy this place and then fix it up um, so I think it was Jesse that said that. So thank you for that idea. Um, now how can I do this? Buy a retail store? Um, okay. So I'm going to just, first of all, this lot can't be worth more than 50000 So I'm just going to cheat their money and buy a retail store. Hopefully this isn't actually owned by anybody. I don't think it is though, because Milka died a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. So we can buy that. Uh, we will buy it unfurnished that that will make our lives a little bit easier i won't have to delete all of those mannequins and things like that so there we go we got ourselves the new crest emporium back i love calling it that so I'm, it's going to be difficult to come up with a different name but um we're gonna have to do that there we go okay so now i will cheat their money back um let's just say we've got i think they had around 1700 so We'll do that. And then also, uh, there's some money in the business that actually isn't ours. Um, 
we'll call that a business loan. That 2,500, because we do have to put some money into this. So yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, let's get Charlotte to come stand on the steps. I think it'd be kind of cool to get a picture of her standing on the steps of this um, building. Let's turn, turn around. There we go. Okay. I mean, it'd be great if she was actually like posing, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, so here she is. We're going to have to, yeah, make it over quite a bit. She needs to look a lot happier. <laughs> like a lot happier. Why do you look so sad? Um, what can I do? Yeah, there's really nothing I can do to make her look any happier. So we'll just leave it, I guess. Um, maybe I'll just do, yeah, see, nothing makes her look... She doesn't look excited or happy about this at all. Uh, meanwhile, Susan is in here making a huge mess, so please clean this up. I do not want this. Um, so yeah, we will revisit this uh, once we have the money to, to do it up, I think. That would be the way to go. In the meantime, let's send these two home. Um, I just wanted to check it out and possibly purchase it, which we've done. It's empty. It's ready to go. Um, but the thing we have to do is actually make a little bit of money to get going. Uh, we may be able to sell some stuff we have at home. Um, we'll keep gardening. That was some good money. All right, let's hurry up. Okay, so we are back at home. Um, let's, what can we do here? Um, so Susan, who is, or not Susan, Debbie, is playing on the monkey bars right now. I'm going to get her to go inside and take a bath. Um, Charlotte, I, I really want to find some creative ways to make some money. So maybe we should step up our gardening game. Let's plant some more stuff. There, and plant one more carrot. Uh, I, I mean, that's not going to be a ton of extra money, but also I do believe that Ronnie is pretty close to a promotion, so that'll be a bit of a bonus. Why do I hear all these weird tropical birds? <laughs> it's very strange. Um, here, lounge in the kiddie pool. I just need something for the kids to do while I try to figure this out. Uh, and then Debbie can do her homework. Uh, yeah, Debbie's birthday. Yeah. It, oh, it's not tomorrow. It's still two days, so we have a little bit of time. You're supposed to come plant these. Why aren't you planting them? Uh, Joyce would like to come over? No. It's nice that Joyce is still alive because, um, I mean, she's quite a bit older than Charlotte, but I think... Oh, yeah, Joyce was a teenager when she had Charlotte. That kind of explains it. Okay, Susan, you had enough fun. Uh, I'm going to get her to go do her homework now. Good. And then Debbie, um, she's doing her homework too, so we're pretty much good there. I think what I'll do is get Charlotte to come in and serve some dinner. We'll do clam chowder. Um, nobody's really that hungry, but that's all right. Um, okay, ways to make money. We got to get creative. Let's sell some mushrooms. Um... What else can we do? I'm just selling everything we own right now. Um, I don't think we need a ton, but like if we could get like 5,000 even, I think that would be really good. Let's see what they have. Nothing. A ball. A ball is all she had in her inventory. Um, Ronnie might have some stuff that's worth money, but it's going to be a little bit tough. Um, Charlotte, what can you do to make money? Let's think creatively. Um, I guess we could, I don't know, it's rough. It's rough. And we could have find investors or something like that. I'm not sure what exactly I should do. Also, the tropical bird noises are really kind of strange. Uh, oh, she's ready to eat. Good. Come grab some food. Um, both the kids can eat. Charlotte, um, I mean, she could still get that part-time job, or she could she could even get a full-time job. That wouldn't be the worst thing either. Let's just check here. I feel like, I don't know, I wish there was a job to be like a secretary or receptionist or something kind of low-key. Um, we could work in law. She could be a process server. See, that's a good job. Um, I think it's 15 bucks an hour. It doesn't pay much. We could be a retail employee, a barista, babysitter, writer. You know what? Let's work in law. Let's just a process server. I mean, we're not going to get far in that career. It's really just a paycheck to bring home. Um, should Charlotte Roswell get a jump start and accept her work assignment? Yes, we should. I don't know what that's going to be, but attend a de deposition. Use a computer on the f or the phone. Okay, well, we can't use a computer, but we can use the phone. Um, where is this going to be, though? Oh boy. 
going to say to attend a deposition. I don't understand. Let me try that again. Choose the attend deposition interaction. Okay, am I blind? I don't see it here. Travel, volunteer, quit, find, sit on skill class. Well, that is really weird. Um, maybe it has to be within a certain hour. It must have to be within certain hours because that's just not working. Okay, um, let's see what we can do here. You are you're good to go. Um, you can go to the washroom and then maybe come play with your violin for a little bit. Um, Ronnie's home he made nine hundred dollars. That's good, but it's not great. We need more money. Uh, I do think he'll get his promotion tomorrow though, which will be really helpful. Oh, Frankie, she is disgusting. Let's go mop that up. Uh, and I guess Charlie can have some soup. Why not? What are you doing? Doing washing laundry. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I didn't really need her to do that, but okay. Uh, let's put this violin like outside and you can go play outside. I'm just thinking of random things for them to do just to like take up some time. Um, so Charlotte will start work tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, let's see if that pos disposition thing is available now. No, it's not. Okay, well, that's really weird that it would even tell me to do it if I can't. Let's put this away. What's up, Ronnie? Why do you look so mad? Oh, he has to go to the washroom. And you are taking your time. Okay, go to bed. Yeah, um, sharing one bathroom is pretty tough. Okay, you know what, Debbie? You can just go to sleep, too. Uh, if we just put everybody to bed, then we can kind of get ready for tomorrow. So yeah, we did not celebrate the lottery. I looked into it. It wouldn't have been realistic for the 50s. So I decided just not to go for it. What are you doing? Why are you like, go back to sleep? No, don't nap. Like commit to going to bed. Thank you. And also this bowl can go in the sink. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, Charlotte's job is just uh, temporary just to make some money for a little while. And I think it kind of suits the 50s as well. Um, process server. I mean, I don't really know what that means, but I'm assuming it's like a secretarial job. And that seems to work for her. I've been saying that I need to get them a new bed because their current bed doesn't allow them to sleep in past like 1.30 in the morning. And I really do need to consider that because they always want to wake up so early. I have to like continuously make them go back to sleep. Okay, let's get Charlotte up and see if she can go attend this thing now. Uh, it probably has to be within like work hours maybe. Yeah, why is it telling me I can do it over the phone if I can't? Hmm, that's weird. And I'm not gonna get a computer because it tells me to get a computer. Like we don't have them, they're not available to us. So it's not even an option. And both the girls have to get ready for school. Tomorrow is Debbie's birthday, which I'm really excited about. I cannot wait to see what her teenage trait is gonna be. Um, you need to go do some laundry before work. I don't think Charlotte's gonna make a significant amount of money doing this, but it's kind of helpful. Uh, oh, our garden, we could go take care of that. Let's go sell everything in our garden. Uh, and then we'll also weed, go to work. Yes, we're going to work today. Oh, this is broken? Oh. Okay, Ronnie, come repair the sprinkler. I left it on for way too long. I shouldn't have done that. Water some stuff. Yeah, we don't make a ton of money um, at all, actually, from just our garden, but we really try. Um, okay, you're not repairing this at all, are you? Come here and repair the sprinkler. Oh, Charlotte's off to work. What does she wear? Oh, that's lame. I thought it'd be more interesting than that. But that's okay. Um, okay, we'll get both the girls to study hard at school. Um, Charlotte can work hard at work today. That's like her official first day of work. She's never been to work before. Let's throw this away. This needs to be turned off because it's so loud. And the sink is broken. Poor Ronnie just can't catch a break. He's always got something to do. Um, okay, hold on. Let's clean this up. And then I think you can pretty much be off to work. Oh, there's some mail? I don't know what that would be, but we'll go check. Uh, for a week now, a kid has been taking Deborah's chips, and today he took her brownie too. It's time for Deborah to take a stand. The way she sees it, there are two choices in kid law, public shaming or private revenge. Private revenge. Charlotte has 30 minutes uh, free time at lunch. How should she spend it? Read blogs. 
She would not go to the gym. She doesn't care about that. Go get the mail, please. I don't know why we can't get our mail. I remember seeing a notification saying that, um, oh, I managed to get your mail in there, but good luck getting it out, which I always think is silly. Um, how are the kids doing? I feel like Susan could make friends today instead. And Charlotte, I mean, uh, Debbie is an A student already, so I'm not really worried about her performance at school. Uh, Susan has met Jacob. Charlotte works until five. Okay. That's not so bad. Um, but yeah, we need to find a way to make some more money. We're not doing such a great job. Uh, Dara has met Jacob. Should Deborah invite over Jacob? No, I'm good. I'm good on that. Uh, Susan, what can we do with you? You know what? Just go um, play on the monkey bars. I don't really care. Uh, and then you can. She has some fun. Um, can both kids play on the monkey bars? I actually don't know about that. Looks like they can. Okay, good. That's that's good. They look pretty happy. It's weird to me, though, that like they're home and their mom isn't. Like I'm so used to having stay-at-home moms in this game. Okay, go take a bath and then do some homework. And then I'll get Susan to do her homework, too. And then Charlotte will be home to make some food. Uh, she, I'm, I'm curious to see how much money she's going to make today. It's probably not going to be a lot, but uh, 135. Yeah, that's not a good day at work. <laughs> that's not great. Let's serve up some dinner. We'll do um, chicken stir fry. Please get Ronnie promotion. Okay, it looks like Ronnie is getting a promotion today, so that's going to be helpful. He makes pretty good money, I think. Like, he makes decent money. I don't think Charlotte had a good day at work, though. I mean, it's just temporary, like I said, but I don't know. Maybe I could find some other ways for her to make money. That's just the easiest, I think. Homework complete. Good. Okay, so grab a serving of this, grab a serving, and then Ronnie will be home. He can grab some, too. There we go. I'm so excited for her birthday in the morning. I always get so excited about birthdays. Did you get a promotion? Did you? He did. Laboratory leader. Good. Um, I mean, that's why we moved here, right? Like, he, it's kind of expected that he was going to do better at his job. Um, so we have this. Now we can sell hygienic, hygienic decontamination pod. So we'll sell that. That puts us at 7,400 for our, uh, for our bakery, which is really good. I think we're doing great. Okay, Charlotte, you're done? Um, let's put this laundry away. Oh, she needs a bubble bath real bad. Let's go do that. Go take a bubble bath. And the kids, I mean, they're both pretty happy, I think. Watch a movie? Sure, watch Cinder. I don't really care what movie you watch. Um, also, I guess we should get... Um, uh, Debbie to pay attention to her dog. She hasn't done that in a while. Where is Frankie? Oh, she's on the front deck. Okay, well, oh, she's always doing something bad. Some dogs in this game are just really bad dogs. And, and Frankie, unfortunately, is one of them. She's always getting into trouble. Um, let's brush her. Play with her. Just like... Rhea, uh, just, just hang out in general. I really want these two to woohoo for fun, but I'm terrified because I do. Not, I'm not trying to get any Sims pregnant in this household. We don't have the room, the time, or the desire to have more kids. Okay, Charlotte, you have enjoyed this bubble bath for long enough. You can go to sleep now. Ronnie, um, you can go to sleep as well. He needs breakthroughs though. Uh, he needs two more before he can get promoted at work. Okay, yeah, you can go to the washroom. And then it's her last night, her last sleep before becoming a teen, which I'm very excited about. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think about solving or getting involved. Not necessarily even solving, but getting involved in the StrangerVille mystery. We could always get um, Debbie to do that if you guys are interested. Uh, also, let me know what you think about the cupcake idea or the, I guess, just owning a bakery idea. Um, it's not just cupcakes. I keep saying cupcakes because that's what I do, but um, just the general owning a bakery. I feel like that's a pretty good way to um, utilize the Emporium. And also, I need name ideas because I don't know what to call it. <laughs> the new crust Emporium. That'd be hilarious because, you know, crust, pie, yeah. But really, though, I don't know what to call it. 
Okay, hold on. Don't, Frankie. It's four in the morning. We're not quite ready. But Ronnie is. He thinks he is. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? I can't keep you down, so... <laughs> Fine, just get up. We'll clean up some spoiled food and make this birthday cake. Um, she's pretty skilled. We can make any kind of cake we want, I think. Let's do um, a blue confetti cake. Um, today I made a um, drip cake and it was covered in flowers. It was really pretty. It was the last cake I'm doing for a while. Um, not that anyone cares about this, but <laughs> I, been, I do make cakes and cupcakes for a living. And... Um, I recently have taken a break from cakes because it's extremely stressful, time-consuming, and expensive. And I'm just doing cupcakes now, so that's my new thing. Uh, it's just strictly cupcakes, no cakes for now. It was hard to come to that decision to stop doing cakes, but it making cakes did not bring out the best in me. It brought out the worst in me. My husband was like, I don't like you when you make cakes. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a bit of a break from that. I think it's just going to be easier. Less stress. Okay, Deborah, um, you can come and blow out these candles now. Let's do that. And then I think I'm hoping that I'll spend, after this episode, I'll spend this money here and uh, do up the bakery as much as possible. Oh, I'm so excited for her to be a teen. But nervous because I don't know what her trait. Okay, so she's a dog lover. Her next trait, I'm always so nervous about this. No! Wait. Wait, my rule. My rule. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, my rule is that uh, my Sims can only be evil if it's the first trait that they receive as a child. Because I can't get attached to a Sim and then have them become evil. I have to raise them that way. So that is my rule. I mentioned it before. I'm not joking. So she's not going to be evil. She is, however, an art lover. There we go. Um, so I'll just give her the friend of the animals oh, aspiration <laughs> there we go oh she looks a little bit evil man she's skinny wow she, and and she looks kind of miserable but that's okay okay you know what the uh, charlotte and um what's his face <laughs> ronnie need to woohoo because like she needs the fun and social so bad but i'm too scared to do it i don't want the consequences let's put this in the garbage i'm done with it um, so yes, uh, Debbie doesn't have to go to school today. I'm going to get her to go on a short walk with Frankie just to get her out of the house. And Susan, she has to go to school in like an hour. And Charlotte has to go to work in an hour as well. You know, let's get Ronnie to do some laundry. Why not? And I don't think he works. Oh, he does work today. Okay. He has weekends off. That actually works out kind of nicely. Can I not get to this? What are you... What's happening? Why am I stuck in here? There. Okay. Search pockets. Let's see if we can get any extra cash that way. $53. See, that is worth it. Um, Yeah, I can't put... I don't have the option to put it in the washing machine, though, and I have no idea why. Uh, I'm going to get these two to, like, just have some kind of interaction. Because Charlotte seems very, very tense. Oh, she has to go to work now. Oh. Okay, in fact, she's late for work. It's like her second day. Can you really need to go? And then Ronnie, I'm going to get him to come outside and sell everything if he can. No. He's too uncomfortable. Okay, just come outside. You might feel better. Okay, he does not feel better. Um, Hire professional gardener. No, I don't know what to do here. Charlotte, what are you doing? Stop eating cake and go to work. She is over an hour late for work. She would rather be eating cake. You know what? I, I get it. I really do. Um, all right, Ronnie, lounge at the pool for a minute because he is just too miserable. Can we sell things now? Okay, we can. Good. Get out of the pool. I just had to try to change his mood for a bit so we could do something different. There we go. Okay. Good, so we're going to make a little extra cash that way. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this episode right here. Hopefully in the next episode, we'll have the bakery up and running and ready to go. Um, also, yeah, I need some ideas for the name. I think for now I'm going to go with New Crust Emporium, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.